Thermal Design presents the installation of a simple saber system. With over 25 years of experience, the Simple Saber system is not new to the industry. With the need for higher in-place R values, the system meets the demands of contractors and owners. The system is increasing energy efficiency, aesthetic qualities, lifespan, and overall building value while improving the quality of insulating methods in pre-engineered metal buildings. The Simple Saber system has surpassed 200 million square feet installed and is the nation's leading high R-value insulation system. This video has been made to show how fast and safe it is to install the Simple Saber system in new pre-engineered metal buildings. This video shows steel erection techniques involving safety products. While all best efforts were used to show safe practices, this is not a safety training video. It is the responsibility of the erection contractor to provide safety training for all workers and comply with all federal, state, and local safety OSHA regulations. The basic concept of the system is to create a platform with tensioned steel straps to slip a strong liner fabric into position on the platform to seal the edges and fasten the liner system to the overlying structure with self-drilling fasteners, to position insulation layers and thermal brakes, and then sheet the insulated area. Tools required are screw guns, extension cords, 5 16 inch long shank magnetic nut setters, utility knives and blades, safety glasses, and 8 to 10 self-locking clamps. lift equipment will be necessary to reach the structure. A snorkel basket, a JLG type lift with basket, or a scissors lift may be used. Scaffolding can also be used if no lift is available. Lifts operable from the basket allow installation process with one less crew member and will easily pay for itself in labor savings. Always use safety equipment required for compliance with current safety codes in your area. To begin the installation of the strap platform, open the package containing the packing list, project drawings, and installation instructions. Check to be sure all materials are included and are not damaged. If something is missing or damaged, contact Thermal Design at 1-800-255-0776. Assemble the strap dispenser by placing the unwrapped coil between the two plywood discs with the four bolts and wing nuts provided. Insert a pipe through the center of the strap dispenser and place dispenser on an elevated platform that will allow it to turn freely. Cut the packaging straps, which will allow the strapping to be pulled off of the coil. Begin cutting the straps on the floor or ground. These straps should be cut the full length of the building, plus two feet. Pull four or more straps over the rafters from one end of the building to the other. Two straps per five foot purlin space are required. 
See the project drawings for exact specifications. Using a lift, pull all the longitudinal straps over the rafters with the finished side down and then hook them on the far end rafter. Once a number of straps are pulled into position, one crew person fastens the end of each strap with two Tech 4 self-drilling fasteners to the top of the far end rafter. Complete this process with all longitudinal straps. Hook the other end of the fastened straps on the near rafter and fasten the straps in tension. Drill a fastener only partially into the rafter to start a hole, being careful to maintain proper strap spacing. Pull the strap tight by hand and drill a fastener through the strap about 3 8 to a half inch short of the started hole. Drill the fastener all the way into the strap, then angle the fastener tip into the started hole and screw it in. This method will tension the strap. Then, install a second fastener through the same strap three inches away from the first. Note that two straps are always used at the ridge. Cut the traverse straps the width of the building plus two feet. Note that roofs with a 212 pitch or greater require additional strapping to allow for the incline. Pull the traverse straps below the purlins from one eave of the building over every sixth to eighth longitudinal strap, over the ridge straps, and under all other longitudinal straps. This procedure allows for faster installation and keeps the straps in the same plane. Take all the straps for each bay and feed them at one time. Fasten the far end of each traverse strap to the bottom of the far eave strut, measuring the proper spacing. Pull the straps tight to the ridge. Fasten each traverse strap to one ridge purlin with one fastener. Then pull tightly to the near eave and fasten to the bottom of the eave strut with two fasteners. These straps are tensioned by first drilling through the strap of the fastener and then angling the fastener into the purlins. Select the package with the specified piece of liner fabric, which will be marked to match the drawn layout, and remove packaging. Unroll the factory folded liner fabric on the strap platform from one rafter to the other. Position the fabric between any two purlins, normally in the ridge space or at the eave. Be sure the correct color side will be down, since the fabric can be reversed and be different colors.
Pull the bottom edge of the liner fabric to the outside corner of the eave strut, plus 8 inches. Clamp one corner securely in position above the near rafter with a self-locking clamp. Pull the other corner above the other rafter while keeping the fabric tight and clamp in position, also with 8 inches of fabric. It's important to keep the fabric square with the eave strut and centered on the bay to minimize potential wrinkles. Pull the other end of the liner fabric off the top of the folded pile to the ridge space or eave, pulling the fabric tight below the purl ends on the strap platform. Clamp the fabric tightly every 20 to 25 feet along the rafters to aid in installation. If the building is being sheeted on one side of the ridge only, then the fabric for the opposite side should not be pulled out until that side is to be sheeted. For best results when fastening intermittent straps, fasten the first purl end up from the eave, then unfasten the strap at the eave strut. Pull the fabric tightly to the sidewall and reinstall the fastener and strap to the eave strut using the same hole. Repeat this operation along the entire bay. To complete the liner installation wherever a strap and purl end intersect, a Tech 2 fastener is drilled through the strap, fabric, and into the purl end. The fabric is trimmed at each purlin to fit tight against the rafter or any other obstacles. Find the point where the purlin intersects with the edge of the rafter and place one cut in the fabric from this point to the edge. Then push down slightly on the fabric and cut at a 90 degree angle to the first cut beneath the purlin so the fabric fits neatly around the purlin. Cut neatly and do not overcut the fabric. Once trimmed, neatly seal the edges of the fabric to the top side of the rafter and to the eave strut to complete the fabric installation. Contact adhesive is brushed on top of the rafters from the ridge down the eave. Once the adhesive is tacky, the fabric edges are then pulled tight and stuck to the adhesive. The rafter braces are then installed using one of the recommended methods. The Simple Saver system allows the use of many different types of insulation. The most common type is fiberglass. Unwrap unfaced insulation rolls or bats and position them neatly on top of the liner system between the purlins. A second layer of insulation can be installed over the top of the purlins and first layer of insulation, or a separate thermal break material may be used. This will add additional R value. For best results, install the Snap R just prior or during the roof sheeting process. After the cavity is filled and thermal brakes are in place, you can now install the roof panels. Caulk or seal all edges, checking to ensure all fasteners are installed at each purlin. Wipe away any dust or dirt off the system and clean up the bay floor area. Gojo Hand Cleaner or WD-40 will remove fresh vapor barrier sealant. The Simple Saver system installs very quickly. 
Never pull out more fabric than can be covered before the end of the workday where weather is a factor. And make sure no rain or snow will be able to enter the system if the fabric is stored in the ridge purlin space. If you have any questions or need any additional materials, call Thermal Design at 1-800-255-0776.